so the first track was a dead end um, not completely we did um, we did follow the blood about another hundred yards past where they had lost it uh, we found like three or four more spots something like that and it did go the opposite direction than what the hunter originally thought and then we tracked it about another 600 yards or so with no blood uh, but it was pretty apparent the timber was still on the deer and there was nowhere else that there was like it, it doesn't look like timber would have missed any any you know another direction or anything like that <clears throat> um so we're we're very confident that that deer survived um but we're on our way out to cherry tree pennsylvania um, to go track one that it sounds like it was liver hit and they jumped it twice last night and that's usually not sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's not sometimes they just go too far um, so I'm hoping we'll be able to catch up to this deer but you never know until you go out and track um, it sounded like a really big buck and they wanted somebody with experience and an experienced dog on it so we're headed out there and then we got another track to do this evening. So we'll see you in the woods. Come here, church. There's a little spot of blood right here. Come here, look. Here. Church, you're right. Come on. the wrong deer found the wrong deer Thank you. I don't know. I'm thinking we're close like, with how like he's like really excited. <laughs> I don't see any blood over here though. Is there blood right there at all? Okay. Yeah. Come on.
Timmy, there's nothing, there's nothing even over here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, that's what I was trying to do till you stopped. Uh, I'm gonna try in that way, see if that's what happened. But, I mean, he could've walked, cause there's no more tracks like, but a couple feet. So, so I mean, and then a lot of this is melted off, so we could have just turned around and went down that way. So it could have been either or. So I'm gonna try him this way. Good boy, Timber. Good boy. Uh, don't, don't run, don't run. Just give him a minute, because he can get pretty territorial sometimes. <laughs> Good boy, Timber. Good boy, Timber. <laughs> and I thought it was high. I told that's you I thought I ain't. Where's the hole? Right here. Oh, right here. yeah, yeah, yeah. That right should here. be, that, that's, I don't know how that you didn't get the heart. Uh, the heart's a little forward. Forward, forward yeah. and in the heart, just like us, it's on the left. It sits on the left side. Because right, right here. down here, so let me think here. This is his entrance? Yes! I, yes it is. <laughs> Whew, you, you so he must have been. He must have been over 50 and you aimed for 40. Yeah. <laughs> but the weird thing is I went out to where I hit him and I raised the... Hmm. I don't know. Dude, it's immaterial now. Yeah, like his eyes aren't even hazed over, like... <laughs> yeah, his died. eyes are like literally... Well, they're, they're not... They aren't, uh... Slimy anymore, but yeah. Yeah. He just died. Well, we found another one. Um... I don't know if I'm going to be putting this video or this clip before or after the track, but I'll just explain real quick um, what we were thinking on this deer and what the deer did. Uh, I wasn't too confident that we were going to find it because the, the hunter thought that from originally talking to him, um, I don't know what I was thinking, but it sounded to me like it was liver. But once I showed up, he was saying that he thought it might have been a little high. And I would have taken liver over a high hit any day of the week. But I'm like, all right, I'm already there, so you know, we're gonna wanna track this deer. And we found a little bit of blood here and there after their last spot. And kind of hit a wall for a little bit I had to do a little bit of searching around finally timber seemed to get back on the track and then once we crossed like this I don't even know what it was like a power line or something along that that road um, we started down in through these hemlocks and went up oh right holy shoot right there, that's a nice buck right there right on the, right on the road at four o'clock in the afternoon wow that's a really nice buck Deer season ended yesterday, though. 
So all three of these tracks that we're doing today were actually shot yesterday. <clears throat> Where'd he go? Wow, that was that was a big buck. But anyway, as I was saying, got these hemlocks and timber started wind scenting. So I'm like, okay, well maybe he's dead in here somewhere. We get up and I'm pretty sure I got that on video too. We ended up finding a dead doe that somebody else on the leaf shot exactly a week ago. And um, they couldn't find it. Didn't call a dog. But, so we um, went back to the field, but, or we were going to go back to the field, but I said, it's easier just to drop down on this tram road and circle back around. I'm like, okay, well, we got on the tram road and got back to like the power line thing and we're about to cross up and it's like, okay. And the guys, the hunters and his, the hunter and his friend um, started up and I could hear Timber's nose working. I'm like, what the heck? And I looked down and he was sniffing um, blood. There was, a, there was a bed right there with blood in it. I'm like, oh shoot. I'm like, I'm like right here guys. Like this deer was, you know, bedded right here. So we just picked up the track from there. And um, so the deer, I think what cut down the edge, like as soon as he crossed that power line um, and, but Timber smelled that dead doe. It was getting the wind of it and took us that way. Um, so we started from right there and Timber tore down through the uh, power line some more in these tall weeds. We picked up some more blood. It looked really fresh and kind of nothing, kind of circled back through, back up to that bed and went out that trailer that we just walked and Timber cut down into the woods and I was fixing my camera or doing something. I wasn't paying attention. And I picked my head back up and I'm like, he's laying right here. <laughs> like we just walked that tram road out in like 10, not maybe 10 yards at most from that deer and, and never saw him. And that deer had just died. Like we must've bumped him, like pushed him up out of that bed that was on the power line or something. And I don't know, but that thing was so limp. Like you'll see timber chewing. Um, the, the rump on it ripping hair out and the deer's just flopping around like like that dead that deer wasn't dead long at all um, and turns out we were both wrong the, the deer was not liver shot and it was not shot high it was shot very 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 low and he shot it from a tree stand and the entrance hole is actually lower than the exit like if he would have been an inch lower, he would have only got hair. So I don't know what he hit to kill this deer. I have no idea, but hopefully maybe he'll text me later on after he guts it and, and lets me know. But hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. We've got one more track to go do, hopefully. I just tried to call him a little bit ago, nobody answered, so. But hopefully we got a third one to go track. And this one we should be able to find too. But all right, we'll see you in the woods.